about your new character Chad on Riverdale. Um, so he just we just met him this past in pe- this past Wednesday's episode. Um, do we know how long Chad's storyline is going to be? Do we have a specific? I don't know how much you're allowed to to tease or whatnot. <laughs> Um, but yeah. will we will we be seeing more of Chad throughout the season? There'll definitely be more of Chad. Yeah, he's he's going to be coming up in the next uh, next few episodes, especially. Um, he uh, he will be making the trip to Riverdale. Ooh, exciting! To uh, to, to to meet some of the uh, inhabitants there, um, which is definitely a, a brings up a, a few interesting interactions, as you can imagine. Um, so he'll he'll be around. Uh, for me, I, I I don't know any particular end date. Obviously, the the season is still shooting up in Vancouver, so um, I'm not too sure. But uh, it's all been very exciting so far. Yeah, well, we're all excited to see more of the dynamic between Chad and Veronica throughout the season. So can you tell us a little bit, what kind of guy is Chad like? We've only seen him in one episode so far. So who is he and what do you think makes him a good match for Veronica, whether just in scenes or just with that character dynamic? Who is he and how does he interact with Veronica? I think what probably first attracted them to each other is um, they, you know, they, they met through working on Wall Street. Now, you know, Veronica is a very powerful a uh, strong, strong-headed uh, woman who, you know, took. I think she said in, in episode four that she was known as the she wolf of Wall Street. You know, she was right. she was dominant and she was attractive, and I think that's what attracted her to uh, attracted Chad to her. And I think it was the same. I think they they both had this kind of powerful Wall Street, you know, power couple feel about them. Um, and then that was a big thing for them. But when we meet them in episode four, things are a little, a little frayed between them. And right. I think that was because of um, they were, they had a, a serious accident that happened, and uh, they uh, that that tested their relationship. And that's where we meet them. Yeah, it was interesting to see. We we did get to see Chad's reaction to the the accident as they called it throughout the episode and we got to see how that or he he told veronica how that was affecting him but veronica has kind of been more on the quieter side when it comes to that accident so are we going to start to see how the accident started to affect her as well uh i think so you know i I think i think we'll see and i I think i I think that the the thing that we we get um from episode four and then we might see some more of is is how how it's played on Chad's mind and how his insecurity um, has doubled and tripled um, mm. since since that moment uh, for one reason or another. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to see him kind of ramp up on his you know, um, overly doting kind of husband role um, through his own insecurities. Interesting. So obviously all of the the viewers of the show were well aware of Veronica's background, but since we don't really know anything about Chad's background yet, are we going to be learning more about who he was before he met Veronica, or is it kind of, you know, full steam ahead as to their relationship? I think we'll spend a lot more time on their relationship now than we've got on Chad's past. You know, I think, I think a lot of, a lot of Chad, um, you know, people will, will piece together, I think, as it goes along. But I think the, the interest is definitely going to be in, in their relationship in, in terms of the last you know few years that they've known each other. Very cool. Do you, in your own mind, kind of have an idea as to where Chad came from, how he grew up, that type of thing? Yeah, I definitely do. You know, I think you know, he's working on Wall Street. Um, you know, I kind of have, have, have a, a vague idea of, of what it takes to be one of those people, you know, I feel like he comes from a family that work in that in that field, mm. and um, and therefore, you know, he, he probably grew up in and around the city of New York, and, you know, lived in summers in the Hamptons and stuff, and a very kind of you know opulent kind of lifestyle uh, growing up, and I think you know that that definitely affects a person in a certain way. You know, we we're all creatures of habit so he's become accustomed to certain things and uh, I think he'll see a, a few little a few little things come out like that uh, when he gets to Riverdale um, so 
yeah, definitely, definitely did a little bit of a little bit of research on on who he is, what, what world he could be from. Great. We're all going to be super excited to see how all of that plays out. And especially since, as I mentioned, fans are, you know, very familiar with Veronica's past. And so meeting Chad, they're going to be interested about who he is and his past and how he fits into this storyline. But we see in uh, the first episode where we meet Chad, when there's kind of that tension in their relationship, there's that scene where Chad gives Veronica the Fabergé egg as a gift. And so it, I think that kind of also told the audience that maybe he's not super aware of what those kinds of things mean to her or how that fits into her story. So I kind of picked up on, do does Chad not really know about Veronica's past in Riverdale? Is Does he know the full story or do you think, or can you say when he comes to Riverdale, is he going to be uncovering a lot of things that Veronica may not have told him about? Yeah, I, I think that's definitely the case of like, you know, he knows the, the Veronica that he met. And uh, you know, on Wall Street, and he knows a lot about uh, from from that time. Um, I think he knows the bullet points, maybe, um, of of Veronica's past. But let's put it this way: he hasn't had the benefits of watching all the seasons of Riverdale, you know, <laughs> the electricity. And I think there's definitely things Veronica doesn't want him to know, uh, and has kept from him. So there's definitely uh, some some things for him to find out. Very interesting. Well, since we mentioned a lot about Veronica, I wanted to ask you, what's it been like working with Camila Mendez on those scenes? So far, uh, since since we've only known Chad in New York, all the scenes we've seen you in so far have been with Camila. So what's it like working with her, and how did you guys establish that chemistry that we see on scene? Yeah, it's been great. She's, um, oh, yeah, as you say, you know, uh, most of the majority of my scenes are with Camila, and she... Um, she made it really easy for me to turn up. You know, it's, it's a strange thing for an actor to come into a show where people are so established. You know, these guys have been doing it for like five years now and, you know, they know their roles inside out and they have a certain set. All the crew is the same crew for the past, you know, three or four years. And sometimes you can come in and sometimes things can be a little hostile or it can be hard to, like, establish yourself. I was lucky that um, we had some really meaty, juicy scenes to get into. Um, and I think it was exciting for Camila to, to be in a different location. And it was obviously the first episode since the time jump. So there was a kind of a, an energy to her where she was thinking about her performance in, in a different light for, for the, maybe like, you know, for, for the first time in a while with the, with the age difference um, and all those things that have happened since. And it, and it was good. You know, she was really, really um, hospitable to me. Uh, we got on really well. We, we have a good laugh on set and, uh, yeah, she's. I mean, she's made it really easy for me to come in and, and feel like I can do do my work as best as possible. And yeah, I think that you know that hopefully the chemistry shows and uh, comes across well on screen. Yeah, absolutely. I think fans are going to be really interested in seeing more scenes of the two of you together. Let's see, um, one other really important part of the episode and the relationship between Chad and Veronica is that Chad really wants to start a family. Veronica is not in that mindset right now. Is that going to be a continuing theme between the two of them throughout the season? Are we going to hear more about Chad kind of explained how the accident kind of pushed him towards wanting a family more earlier and right now, Veronica, not so much. Is that going to be a recurring theme that we see between the two of them this season? Yeah, I think, you know, I, th- I think it's, it, it's, it's less so about the actual having of a family. I think it comes down to like, um, maybe Chad feels a little threatened by her. You know, she's, she's ambitious and um, he he's trying to he's kind of looking after his own ego, you know, um, and and that's what brings tension to their marriage uh, as a whole. I think it's like she she's she's a powerhouse, and he wants to kind of rein her in a little bit and have a little bit more control over. Her. But um, you know, his insecurities come from a come from a, a certain place, and I think eventually we'll find out where that place is. Interesting. Very cool. So we're all really excited to see. I'm not sure how much you could tease of the upcoming episode that we're getting on Wednesday, but are we, I think we're, we're going to see some more of Chad this upcoming Wednesday. Is there anything you could tease to the last we saw Veronica was in Riverdale. Uh, Is there anything you could tease about the next time we're going to see Chad or how soon he's going to show up? I, I think I can. Like, you know, that um, 
uh, uh, Veronica obviously has gone to Riverdale, and Chad is a little put out by this. Um, I think things are going to come to a head when Veronica realizes that Chad is having her followed, um, and that obviously isn't a, isn't a great move mm-hmm. uh, from from Chad. And Veronica doesn't take that too well, so that's coming up in the next episode. And then in, in terms of like the future. Things will get you know more and more tense between them. Um, as I said, Chad's going to come to Riverdale, which brings up his old thing, and he gets to meet Archie, which is obviously the the, the the more interesting interaction of the people that he gets to meet. Very cool. Yeah, we're all super excited to see that play out on screen. And since these scenes are going to be so interesting for us to watch, I just want I also want to ask you this question. Not so much that's character based, but more from an actor standpoint. How has it been like in these times with production being different a lot of productions as you mentioned have been shut down Riverdale has had new uh, restrictions as far as safety precautions so as someone creative in this time as an actor how have you been staying in touch with with your craft I know it's definitely makes a difference between being on an actual set versus not actually being on a set but what what is there what would you recommend to other actors during this time who may not be on set, who still want to stay in touch with their craft and build it. Yeah, you know, it's, it's been a very difficult time for everyone. Um, I think, first and foremost, I'm, like, hugely grateful for, to Roberto and uh, everyone at Riverdale for, for, you know, letting me have a job. I realise how, how rare those jobs are to come by right now for actors. Um, I think for me, it was it was about being as creative as possible, you know, I think especially during the height of the pandemic um, when everyone was stuck at home and we all found ourselves itching to do something and, you know, there was, there was no work out there to do. So you had to kind of, you know, I, I'm, I'm lucky that I, I have an interest in writing. So I kind of took up a little bit more of that and, you know, tried to be busy making my own things and keeping myself active. Um, and then when Riverdale came along, I was very lucky to obviously you know, to, to have a job at all. I'm very grateful and, you know, you come out, you do the quarantine in Vancouver for two weeks in your hotel. And then once you're out, you have to kind of keep yourself quarantined, you know, as, as quarantined as possible, just to make sure that you don't catch anything and bring it to set. You get tested. I think we get tested three times a week, maybe more if we're doing intimate scenes. Um, but like a big hand to the crew and the cast, like everyone has been so professional up there and really looked after themselves and you know, it's a very strange thing. You know, I have, I've, I've, I've met all of the crew and I know their names, but I've never seen them without masks. Right, so, you haven't seen all their faces yet. Yeah, it's a very strange, uh, very strange kind of thing. And I think if I did see them without a mask, it would floor me. You know, I'd be very surprised <laughs> at what they look like. Um, but everyone's been really great, really accommodating. And you know, it's it's tough on the cast. You know, it's the cast and crew because they, you know, they they have to. You know, they they work long hours and then they go home and they stay home. And there's, you know, they're not going out anywhere. They're trying to, you know, minimize the the uh, contact with other people. Um, so it's it's a it's a very difficult situation, but they're doing very well. And I think you know, the the, the longer this goes on, the more productions are going to get back into into work. And the, you know, the the protocols like Riverdale's proven that if you follow the protocols, it works. Like they haven't really had. You know any any stoppages, any problems, at least since I've been there. Um, and I, I think productions will start to, to realize how it has to be done, at least for you know at least the next year. And uh, hopefully things can start getting made because you know we actors we want to be creative. You know writers want to be creative, producers want to produce. Everyone wants to be working. And hopefully this leads to like a, an influx of work over the next couple of years for for everybody. Right. Well, on our end, as viewers, we're, we're happy that we that the production is back on and we have some new episodes to sink our teeth into. And we're really excited to see what's ahead for the rest of the season. And we're excited to see you on our screens again. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me, Chris. It was great to talk to you.